everyone, Morgan here. So we have been needing to get our rain system collection set up. Now, when we first got here, I got a, um, I just got like a trash can and then I was gonna get some uh, little mesh over top uh, to, to just collect rain even before we were getting the gutters and stuff all set up. And then I got the wrong kind of mesh and then I never got the right kind of mesh. And so anyway, my point is like, we have not been collecting rainwater. And contrary to popular belief, it actually does rain in the desert. And right now it's monsoon season. So it rains a lot. When it rains, it rains a lot. Last night we had a really good monsoon. And so um, today we're getting the gutters up. Or jo <laughs> Husband's getting the gutters up. And then we have a couple totes that the gutters are going to go into. So we'll show you that. So we're just, just doing the connectors, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we have a couple connectors and it should be a fairly easy process. We're going to put it up on our shed here. On the one on one side and the other on the other down into two totes that can each hold 275 gallons. Yep. So. All right. It's only taken a couple hours. It's probably like the, <laughs> the least amount of time project that we've ever done. So there's the gutter right there. We just have gutter for one side. Um, for now, but we're gonna get the other one in a little bit. But uh, because of the type of roof that we have, we had to hang it like that. So it's pretty interesting. And then of course it's at a slight slant so that it just slides down over here. Da, 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 da. Rain, 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 slides down, slides down. Here's the connector into our container, which is on pallets so that it could be gravity fed as well. All about that gravity fed. So yeah, it's, uh, it's looking really, really good. I'm really, really happy with it. We have a second tote that's gonna go over there once we get the other, um, see there's the other tote. Yeah, so once we get the other gutter on, then we'll have two totes. Oh. That'll be exclusive rainwater. And then we wanna get two more totes for each side of the chicken coop there, where's my finger, there it goes, uh, to get gutters on the chicken coop and put a couple uh, totes on there. So we have everything collecting water. <laughs> so, like I said, right now is um, monsoon season. And uh, last night we got a, a wild storm and uh, you know, we want to start collecting some of that water. I should just, I should have just been putting buckets out. I don't know what I'm thinking. I, I just, the, the storms are so wild. I, I just don't even think, you know, I just don't even think about it. My door is opening. I just don't even think about it. So um, anyway, all right. So this is a 2,500 gallon water tank that we, we haul water for now. We actually use this to haul water. We put that in the Jeep and then we take, we transfer this from the Jeep, not in the Jeep, but <laughs> in the trailer. And then we transfer the water into that tank. So we use this as our transfer water, basically. So we're looking into some more totes to get more water systems. Um, so yeah, uh, this is our big tank. And then we have a pressure tank um, that gives us about 20-ish gallons to just work with. So it fills up and then you just use from that water so you're not constantly using energy every time use water. If you have any idea what I'm saying, <laughs> good, good at you. Um, so, so we actually, um, struck a deal with somebody. I'm not going to go into details that we can use their well to uh, transfer water. They're a mile away. We were, um, hauling water from about 20 miles away, which really wasn't bad. Uh, but you know, a mile <laughs> is definitely nicer than 20 miles, right? And then we have our seasonal creek. And a lot of people are, are were saying, well, I don't understand, you know, why you would buy property with a seasonal creek. Well, with that seasonal creek, you know, it actually, it really does flow. And with a lot of monsoon, it will fill up. So I can actually go down there and haul water up from that monsoon. We have a uh, gorilla cart where we can haul water up 
transfer it into like this or something, right? And then transfer it into there or just transfer it into there. I'm not really sure kind of how that would go. But uh, anyway, so yeah, that's how we're dealing with our water. We have well access. We don't have our own well. A lot of people when we bought their, uh, this land, they were like, well, you should just drill a well. Wells are expensive, very, very expensive. Before we even bought this land, the first thing we did, we got quotes on a well. We called a bunch of people to get quotes on a well. And it's very expensive. So we're gonna have to just wait. And you know, a well, to pay for a well, um, you know, you have to, you have, it's all cash is what I'm saying. So we don't have that kind of cash right now. So we're hauling water, we're getting um, rainwater, and then we're gonna use, um, gain access to our seasonal creek down there once it starts filling up. So that's our water right now, our water situation. We've been doing great. We've actually been doing really great. I want a second one of these. I want a second 2,500 gallon tank. <laughs> it'll be nice. Uh, it'll be nice. Once I have a second one, I'll be good because I want trees. You know, I'm about to have a garden. All this stuff takes irrigation and water. And we got uh, some more animals, which I'll talk about in another video. But uh, I'm very, very excited. Um, you know, our water situation is coming along. It's all a process. So, um, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with how everything is going. Water was definitely our first priority. We got this a long time ago and um, it's been good. Hauling water is not that big a deal, especially now that it's a, you know, about a mile away or so. So pretty excited. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Go rainwater. <laughs> Talk to y'all later, mate. Oh, I think that no matter where you live, regardless of where you live, you should be collecting rainwater. And that rainwater should go towards anything. It can go towards animals. It can go towards your garden. You know, you can purify it from there. Um, you know, do whatever you want with it. But uh, yeah, you really, really need to uh, to be to be collecting rainwater. Get a five gallon bucket out there. Seriously, do anything to collect that rainwater. It's free water from the sky. Okay, do it.